guys woke up early and look at the energy of this room. I am impressed. I am seriously shocked. Did you guys have coffee yet? And you still have so much energy? Oh my God. Wow. You guys, welcome. Hi. I'm so happy you guys are here. Today is going to be an awesome day. Don't you think that today is just one of those days that is just meant for greatness and amazingness? Don't you think so? I think so. You know why? Do you know why? Because today's Strangers and Friends Alike is the very first day of the first ever RevoGS edition. We have so many amazing talks from people from all over the world. You're going to have so much fun over here. You're going to learn so much new stuff. You're going to interact with a lot of new people. And together, I think we're going to have a great time. So before we get into that, let me just briefly introduce myself. Hi, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Diana Mako. And yes, I do work as a freelance IT recruiter by day. But just rest assured, today I am off duty. You don't need to run for the hills. I'm not going to harass you with any job opportunities or tell you all about the wondrous uh, young dynamic teams that we have waiting for you to join them. I'm going to hold that off for like next week, maybe. We'll see about that. But seriously, though, I'm super grateful. I'm super happy to be your host for the duration of these two days of conference. And I think we're going to have a lot of fun together, don't you? I think so. Yeah. All right. <laughs> there we go. A lot more. So before we get into it, let me just tell you a couple of words about how this event came to be. The idea behind Revo.js actually came to the organizers of the TeamGS meetup some time ago. They saw a real need in the local community for such an event, and they were inspired by organizers of similar such conferences. They were backed up by members of the community, and they were also backed up by people who joined in on the organizing part. At the heart of it was the idea to revolutionize the local tech ecosystem. And I think today they've managed to do just that by creating a technology-focused, community-driven JavaScript conference the first of its kind here in Timisoara. So please give it up for that. <laughs> now, we say change is the only constant, and we're no strangers to that. I mean, to us, change is all about evolving and growing and making something better. But it's also about changed venues and changed agenda and changed speakers. And also, and hear this out, so the airline responsible for half our speaker's flight decided to go bankrupt the week before the conference. Yeah, we're familiar with change. We're all about change. Change really is the only constant to us. So before we actually move on and get this party started, we would like to give thanks to everybody, all the supporters who joined in and make this event possible. First of all, let's give it up for all the partners. They were the ones who brought the spice and everything nice to the mix. Let's not forget also our media partners. They share because they cared. And we're very grateful for them for spreading the word. So please give it up for our partners and media partners. We've had so many communities and tech hubs who joined us on this journey, some from the beginning, others along the way. And we're very, very grateful for them for the helping hand they gave us throughout this event. So please give it up for all of these communities. And of course, this event could not be possible without the support of our sponsors and main investors. So I'm going to give it up now for all these companies, starting with Dream Production, Busy Machines, Visma, Three Pillar Global, Cineto, Steadforce, WeVideo, Unified Post, Immobiliare.ro, Plenty Markets, Haufe Group, IBM, Cognizance of Vision, Ness, and Endava. Please give it up for all our sponsors. Last but not least, we want to give a big, big round of applause for our premium sponsor. I mean, this company pours code into digital projects like it was coffee. Boy, do they love their coffee. I mean, it's in the name, right? They never say no to taking a hike or you know, even a beer. They always say yes to all the technical challenges that they have. Workout, reach out, time out is the recipe for great energy because let's get real. I mean, how much coffee can a person drink? Seriously. But if you're wondering about the recipe for great software projects, it's basically getting involved in every step of the way in product development. 
from bean to brew. So please give it up for our main sponsor, Espresso. Now, all of these guys came in with a lot of goodies for you guys. They have some sponsors giveaways that you can find right outside and you can pick up freely. And we also brought our share of goodies. We have t-shirts and keychains and books. And you can definitely pick up the Revo swag for free or you can leave donations for it. We would like to give 50% of all donations that we raise to the Iris Theoretical High School for Impaired Children. So please make sure you grab as many as you would like. Next step. We will have some uh, people wearing orange t-shirts around here. You probably have noticed them. They're part of the organizing crew, and they are here to help you with whatever you may need. Answer your any questions, solve any issues that may arise. They're here to make this journey of yours more pleasable. Do you have any orange t-shirts in the house? Oh my god, they're so quiet. They have not had their coffee. Do we have any more orange t-shirts in the house? We have one definite and a couple of maybes and some, yeah, in the back. All right, but they're definitely gonna be around. Lots of them are still at the registration point because there's still so many of you coming in. They are part of our organizing crew, so these are the people behind the scenes that I would like to also thank. They're the ones who do the planning, the hard work to make this event happen. So please give it up for the organizing crew coming from Team JS and Bon Appetit. So before we actually move on with our first talk of the day, let me just make a couple of important announcements. First of all, we have a code of conduct that I hope you get to read at this link right here, revogs.ro slash coc. We really, really value your attendance and we hope that we're, you're gonna enjoy your stay with us for the duration of this event. So please make sure that you read the code of conduct and follow the simple guidelines. If any issue arises during this event, please speak to one of our orange t-shirts about it. And speaking of orange, this morning at registration, you received a black lanyard with your participant's badge. Now, if you would like to be excluded from pictures on social media and not be tagged, you can opt to choose an orange lanyard for your participant's badge. This way, you will be excluded from close-up pictures, but might still be included in a couple of um, group shots, let's say, on social media. You can do so by going to the info desk or asking one of the orange t-shirts for help. We would also very much like to be um, inclusive of all people with disabilities. We wanna make sure that the content of this conference is accessible not only to hearing impaired people, but also visually impaired as well, which is why we're gonna have live captions through the entirety of this event, and we made sure that the speakers have already received the simple guidelines for accessibility, and we have Orla over here working her magic on the screen. Say hi, Orla. I don't know about you guys, but for me, that's a first, and I think it's pretty impressive, and uh, definitely big kudos for the organizers for pulling this off. So how about another big round of applause for our organizers? What do you think? Now, when it comes to the agenda, we thought of it this way. Let's have two consecutive talks followed by a longer break. This way, it's gonna give you the opportunity to network, maybe ask the speakers anything that you might think of, or just mix and mingle as you might please, check out our supporters booth, anything that you might like. Lunch will be served around 12.30 today, and the talks, each one of them, will take for about 30 minutes. After the two consecutive talks, we're gonna have a break for about 30 to 40 minutes each. This is exactly why we strongly encourage you to hold up your questions and seek out the speakers during these long breaks. We would like to skip the allotted Q&A section at the end of each presentation just to give you enough time to focus on each talk and then ask the speakers outside any questions or curiosities you might have had throughout the talk. And I kind of want to see and hear as much of you as possible during this event. So please feel free to tag us in your pictures, your statuses, your stories, your tweets, whatever else on social media you have with the hashtag RevoJS. And if you haven't followed us yet, you can do so by adding us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. All right, I believe that it's enough for announcements for now. We're gonna get ready for our first talk of the day. So we did this really cool thing with our speakers. We sent out this survey of a couple of questions that they answered freely and without 
any harassment, well, maybe one of them. But um, besides that, we have some really cool ways of introducing by giving little tidbits and interesting facts about them.